You talk a lot about the uh, a form of spiritual renaissance occurring particularly in Australia and that there's a reason for that. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I think um, there are two big big incentives to spirituality in Australia at the moment. One is, I think, the Aboriginal people who, uh, as it was said in the apology of uh, you know, 2008, that they are the oldest continuous sacred culture in the world. And although they're in pretty bad shape at the moment and uh, uh, things aren't looking good, I think um, living on Aboriginal land, which is what we all do in Australia, is having an effect. I think we um, are aware of the sense of the sacred that Aboriginal people have had here for probably 40, 50,000 years. I think a lot of that is rubbing off. It's almost like colonisation in reverse. It's like we, um, we took their land and, and took their culture, but somehow or other there's something coming back to us uh, from their deeper uh, lives, which is their spirituality. And the second point is that we need to develop a closer and more deeply spiritual relationship with the land. That, that is absolutely imperative. We can't continue as we've been uh, in Australia with uh, this controlling uh, attitude to the land. We, we have to grow with the land and understand its moods, its temperament. And that requires not just ecological common sense and scientific know-how, it actually also requires the spiritual intelligence. You speak also about um, the need to acknowledge that indigenous cultures acknowledge the world outside them mm. and therefore they learn about themselves. Can you talk about that from your perspective? Yes, I think um, <clears throat> all indigenous cultures look to the world outside them as a way to live their own lives inside themselves. So um, they relate to the world as if it is meaningfully connected to them. So the nature's moods, the seasons, such as they are in Australia, which is often very unpredictable, uh, fires, floods, you know, droughts, all these things um, are not just external events to Indigenous people. They are actually the movement of the spirit, if you like. It's very hard for many of us today to understand the Aboriginal worldview because we're so deeply entrenched in rationality that we assume that the way the world works is completely independent of the way our inner world works, our thoughts, our feelings, our intuitions and so on. But in fact, for indigenous peoples of virtually every country, these things are intertwined and there is a deep connection between the soul of the person and the soul of the world.